Welcome to this special lesson in which I'm going to be revealing a secret about footwork and the split step specifically that I think is really critical for players to understand. And I just discovered this recently while we were doing some slow motion analysis of our own footwork. We're going to be looking at some examples of professional players, amateur players, including myself. And I think it's critical. Everybody knows that you're supposed to split step, but I don't think a lot of people really realize why and what the benefit is. And so first, let's look at Kei Nishikori here. He's uh, hitting a backhand, and we're just going to see him in a neutral rally position where he's stretched his opponent a little bit, but not so much that he's just going to charge forwards and attack. Instead, he's going to neutralize himself here by making a split step right here. From this position, both his feet are off the court. He's unweighted his body, his stance is wide, and his toes are both positioned over the court so that depending on which direction his opponent hits, he could equally move in either direction. That's the whole point of the split step. Well, we're gonna get into something that a lot of people don't understand in a second. So from here, as he comes down and his opponent has just made contact, he recognizes the direction the ball is headed just before he touches down so that when he does touch and he recognizes that it's a backhand, he's able to pivot his outside foot and then plant and push in that direction. And so that dynamic unweighting of the body and then recognition of where the ball is going allows him to flow in the right direction right as he comes back down again onto the court. And this dynamic part of it I think is the element that a lot of players don't understand. And so his first move is his outside foot. In other words, his foot on the side that the ball is coming to is to pivot or turn that outside foot, which then gets him into his unit turn. It aligns his body in the direction that he needs to move. And that all flows seamlessly and efficiently from the split step. His body turns and aligns and his momentum and energy starts to flow in that direction. So here at Essential Tennis, we've always taught that that first step should be with the outside foot. And recently, I was demonstrating a drill, which I'll, I'll show you right now. And what was happening was uh, Megan was extending her arms out. She was dropping one ball or the other from one hand or the other. And my job was to react and respond. And this is a drill to help train reaction time. And after demonstrating a couple repetitions, what I discovered was that I was not doing what we recommend to players. Instead of my first step being with my outside foot, here, here you'll see an example of Megan dropping the ball to my right. And instead of leading with my right foot and pivoting towards the ball, I'm taking my left foot, which you see right here, and I'm actually taking a drop step back away from the ball before I push forwards with my right foot. And so I'm wasting time here that I could be using to move towards the ball to drop my inside foot back before I push forwards with my outside foot. And so this is something that I kind of noticed, and Kevin was sitting on the sideline at the time, and I could see him kind of looking at me kind of side-eyed as well, saying, huh, like it just doesn't quite look right. So we grabbed the iPad, we recorded it, and then I said, wait a minute, I'm just standing here statically. I'm not making a split step which we decided to do for the video just to make it easy for people at home and make sure that they didn't feel overwhelmed by too many things at once. And all of a sudden, when I started to split step, I started moving in the correct pattern. When I unweighted myself and came back onto my toes and I started recognizing where the ball was going to be so that I could start moving myself in the right direction, now I started loading on my inside foot driving and making my first move with my outside foot, my right foot. So now instead of taking a drop step and then driving, and what that drop step I've, I've come to really kind of understand was, is I was trying to load my inside uh, leg so that I could drive and push off of it. That's the purpose of the split step, is so that you have some dynamic loading of your lower body and you can use that dynamic energy to just flow right towards the ball. And so what's happening here in the example where I didn't split step is I'm actually having to use an additional step. I'm having to step back before I step forwards. And so a lot of people complain that the split step is extra work, but in the long run, it's actually making you more efficient because you can use that energy that you've unweighted 
to just seamlessly flow into the next ball instead of standing there and then taking an extra step before you can move forwards. And I actually just happened to see an example of that from an amateur player recently. Now here's a similar example where this player has just hit a forehand, just like Nishikori did. It's a, it's a neutral rally position. And instead of making a split step before contact is ma made, you'll see this player just simply go into a wide stance. So there's no unweighting of the body here. Uh, there's no dynamic uh, movement with the lower body. Instead, it's just, okay, I'm going to go into my ready position and just statically just wait for the ball. And so when this player identifies that the ball is going to his forehand side, watch his first move. Just like me, his first move is to pivot that inside foot so that he can load off of it and then drive outwards onto his outside foot. So he didn't take a full drop step here, but you can see now there's kind of like, oh, I, I better load this side of the body so that he can get into more of a runner's stance and start to propel himself in the right direction. And by the way, this player later on uh, in the set, interestingly, started to use a split step and his footwork patterns got a lot more efficient. Here's an example of his opponent receiving another forehand this time, instead of standing in a ready position, he lifts both toes off the court in a split step. And when he identifies where the ball is headed, now he's able to load on that inside foot and drive and pivot dynamically onto his outside foot. It, see, it, it looks to me like it just kind of took him a couple of games to really get into the flow of things. But initially, he was very static and just waiting. Now he's dynamic and actually unloading and coming down and flowing in the right direction. So hopefully this gives you some insights. And you can look for these same things in your own game. Set up your camera. Watch yourself play points. See how you're moving. Are you taking steps that you don't need to be taking? And are you wasting energy? The split step feels like a lot more work at first, but in time, as you get used to it, it helps you be much more efficient and cover the court much more athletically.